Hello friends and fellow adventurers, I'm just wandering around here minding my own business and I suddenly ran into this rabbit hiding behind a tree in the uh, the Vigil Pines. I thought we had better, uh, well I don't want to light it on fire probably. I, I might I might want to mine the rabbit, we'll see. I mean, depends how the rabbit uh, treats me here. But I wanted to see what he has to say. Mr. Bunny, I didn't think you'd look over here. So you'd help the ghosts with their problem. Good work, ghosts can have a hard time. I try to make it easier on them when I can. I didn't think you look over. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. All right, that was weird. <laughs> I had no idea what that was going to be, so I thought, you know what, that's a great place. When I run into new things in this game, I always kind of press pause and then I go, let's just deal with that, whatever that weird thing is. What it was doing is I was just grabbing the obvious resources that were around here because we were trying to build uh, another circus tent. But while we're out here, I'm going to grab these last couple that are obvious near the entrance here. Just because you get so much. I mean, 320 for that. I got 280 for the last tree I cut down. <laughs> it's just absurd. So the Vigil Pines is definitely... Once you hit this high point, you don't... There's no other place to go. 190. I don't know if this is just because these things have spawned in recently. I'm not sure how the spawning in and the resources work in this game. Um... But I need more gold, was the thing I was actually on the hunt for. Which is why I ran into the bunny. <laughs> but it's interesting that the bunny doesn't do anything. I expect, you know, and I, that's kind of funny. I like that, in a way, there was a thing, and there was no, like, monetary reward or anything for doing it. It just, the bunny's like, yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks. It might come back later, though. There might be another, the bunny might do something. I, who knows what the bunny's going to do. Or it's just a fun thing. Just like, hey, let's put a thing in the corner of the room in case someone runs into it. I have no idea. As I was wandering around mining here, though, I was thinking how I really have, uh, once I got at the hang of this game, I've, I've really enjoyed the, the fact that it's like a combat-free exploration resource gather, but then it had more to it. And there's, I, I go in waves. I come, there's periods of time where I read uh, that a game has puzzling and I just go oh I don't feel like I you know, whether or not you have the uh, you're in the mood to puzzle and you know sometimes you just don't want to puzzle because puzzling uses all your brain and you're just like, I don't need to use my brain right now other times you go you know what a puzzle is a welcome thing because it's going to be interesting and satisfying when I complete it so I I oscillate between those things uh, even in this game, I have my moments of each. But I, all, all told, I've I've liked the combination of things. Now this should almost get us to the point we need to be at. I think. I think we need 1800. Oh, not quite. I think I'm going to need like one more. Now I'm going to grab these trees while we're here. Is there anything else hiding around in the background here? Now the thing, I, again, I'm just trying to get... Um, I'm trying to get our town rating up to the four stars. Um, I'm full of wood. That is uh, an unusual thing. <laughs> we are never full of wood. I'm trying to get that town rating up so that uh, we can get some more cash, that I can do some more upgrades. It's like the circle of life, right? I need the cash to get the upgrades to get the thing. And then um, I need to complete some more of these puzzles, I feel like. And also some of these quests, because we like that last quest where we got a relic for doing it. Um, we're no longer just finding relics kicking around. That's not a thing. So I'm going to need to come up with something. That's interesting. I, before we were able to read a bunch of them, and then I guess either this this dude can't. Like we, we just collected 400 crowns and they're going in the toilet because we can't. Uh, our bank account isn't big enough, I guess. Oh good, we just got 80 more <laughs> gold that was just lying around. Perfect. I like that. Okay, so let's throw down another big top tent. Uh, you know, I'm kind of... I don't know. I don't know that I care a lot about some of the placements on some of these things. Now, I don't have a ton of gold, but do I need anything to do some housing here? I do need 721 to do a big house. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, I want that housing plus eight. That's that's the, what I'm talking about. Housing plus eight would be very nice, wouldn't it? 
Wouldn't it, sir? Foreman Ike doesn't have an opinion. All right, let's see here. Um, which way did we go? We came that way. Let's wander down here and see if we can't find ourselves another little puddle of gold. Build another house. And that way, as we're wandering, I can invite people back to our town. I can be like, hey, have you heard of our town? They'll be all excited. As opposed to them being like, huh, you're from the town that has no room. Which is not such an exciting place. I don't really see anything happening here, so... No, I think we've pillaged this a little bit too thoroughly. Now, in terms of uh, quests and stuff, we finished that one there. I think what I was going to do is I was going to take... Um, I wanted to wander around this area a little bit more. I feel like there's something going on over here that I hadn't quite dealt with yet. I wanted to take magic over there. Okay, magic. Uh, right, you were here. Uh, what do we want to do with you? Oh, you're on the outskirt of town now. That's where that is? Wow. That's how big the town is now. Holy cow. <laughs> that's astounding. Okay. So, I don't know. I want to get, I guess... We go, we'll go into the village and then teleport back. That's really ridiculous. New Hodge has gotten absurd. Wow. So, I wonder if these all of these teleport points and stuff uh, disappear. And can we go into the mayor's new house? That's pretty sweet, right? Wow. I'm guessing I can't go in here. No. Cool building, but no, uh, no, no actual use. Yeah, same with the big top tent here. Can I go in? No, but we know there's fun. We know people are having fun. That's the key. That's the critical part. Okay, how do I get in? <laughs> Excuse me, everyone's been like, oh, I wonder if I'm going to get uh, details on a better washroom. Like, do you know, combining a house with the bathroom is a really nice... Okay, let's see here. You select a location. We're going to teleport over to River Forks. Okay, now I want to go south, basically. What I'm kind of curious about is... Oh, that is still locked. Yeah, that's, I guess, what I was trying to figure out. I was like, what triggers that to not be locked anymore? Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this one. Now, this one has these white trees that seem, I'm going to guess, are somehow tied to the other one in some way. Wow, this looks funky. I like it. Huh. Yeah, there's no obvious way to get over that, is there? There's that up there. Oh, that beaver is floating. Oh, oops. <laughs> like that? That's not much water. How was I not able to jump over that? Are we ready? <laughs> Alright. What is... Uh, how do we get up onto this ridge? And can we? I don't know. I feel like there's, there's still... Uh, there's still some interesting areas awaiting. Okay, we did that by accident. Yeah, I don't even know how we originally got up onto that. Wow. It is interesting now that we've unlocked more of these areas and we can kind of wander between points. You sort of go and... Uh, like, I want to get up on this wall now. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this wall looks really good. But then how would I get up on that? And then it doesn't seem clear to me that there is an E. This is amazing. I have no idea, in a way, until you really start wandering around this whole zone. Then, in fact, this whole region is so large. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah, and so you're kind of 
come along here and you're you want to get up and you can't get up onto this okay now this there's nothing none of this has any climbability or jump ability fascinating okay and then as you get oh, okay well there's this over here but I don't think you can just wander on up this I'm still trying to figure out last time when we we unlocked uh, a rabbit looking thing what that was all about one of those things that still haunts me <laughs> okay see that looks like uh, a thing you could get up on but you can't get up here It's, I think they're just tempting, is all they are. I don't know, is there any, like... You can't burn anything off on this wall. As much as you want to. You feel like there is going to be some secrets, though. Like, that I just haven't stumbled into yet, like... You know, <laughs> let me up. I'm seeing so much gold around this. It's just demoralizing. All right. Oh, we got uh, some wood we left lying around. It is super fascinating uh, going through this area, though, with like, now that we've truly um, seen more. Ah, there we are. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So it's like one, then one down in the corner in. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I, that, this must be the one for the up, the one up on the hill as well, right? Is that the thing? So that'd be the corner, that corner, and then that one in. Oh my gosh. And anything... No, this is... Oh, hello. Okay, and then we hit a barrier here. This is... Right, I think we did this before. This isn't actually, like, properly getting on this. We accidentally found a little hole. But I, they, I think we can't go very far on this. Or we kind of can, but it doesn't... There's a barrier that prevents us from getting truly up onto it. But it is interesting that it does tell us there's a um, there's a channel up here for us to run, so we probably do need to get up here. I think we've been up here before. And I'm feeling like I'm going to be stopped. Yep. <laughs> halt. No farther for you, sir. Alright, that's fine. That is 100% fair. Well, let's go find a teleporter and let's go complete that puzzle up on the top of the hill. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> so which one was this? Uh, so I'm down over here. It's a sacred garden. Okay, then we wanted to be up on the... Was it the Tea River? Uh, yes, entire group. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, wrong one. Where was it? Not Deep Woods. Uh, Farewell to... Yeah, maybe this one. But then the... Not the power signal. What's interesting is that there is a teleporter up... Uh, I thought up top on this place. Is it straight across here? Yes. Uh, there is a teleporter up here. But how do I... Is it a one-way? Or is it just to bring the rest of the group up here? That's curious. But I think we've got this one now. If this is in fact the same one. I don't know if it's the same one that's used in that hut. If we reuse that same pattern. Hopefully it is. I don't know. All right. I love that. That's a great uh, reveal as you come up the hill. Okay, let's get the gang. So this is superfluous to get. I guess you want to get away from here. 
Uh, transport companions here. Okay, let's go back over this way, fellows and lady. And I'm going to go... I'm going to assume this is the same one. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to bring you... I'm going to leave the last one, the, the slowest one to the end. Is that how we're going to do it? I think so. I'm very intrigued by what is this going to do? <laughs> um, was it not this? And then... If not, I will, uh, I guess, teleport out of here and go and check it again and then come back. And that was one in for this character. No, that was it. Okay, cool. Now, there was two weird uh, magical sounds that just happened of chests. Was there another chest around here or is that just the one? I guess there's just the one. I like that the uh, the camps have we've cleared off this area definitively. I wonder how everyone in town feels about that. Oh, I feel good about it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, what else? What's this? Oh, it's a chunk of wall. Okay, we're all good. I guess we'll just head on down then. Okay, select a... Uh, where was I again? Oh my gosh. Uh, no. Sacred Garden, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, just me, please. And then we'll go collect our little loot. Now hopefully this is another relic or something. Oh, I accidentally started training animal. Oops. Now I'm, I'm going to leave this situation. Yes, I am certain. Oh, come on! No, I don't want to. I don't want to do this. <laughs> and I'm definitely leaving. Yep. No. That was uh, three, is that three soul cords we got out of that? That's good. I think that's it. Well, that's, I'm not gonna complain about that. Three quarts is better than nothing. That's not bad at all. Which I think will take us maybe back to town, if I'm not mistaken. And I might bring everybody back and send old Hodge out and just gather the gold around the town itself. Uh, let's select a location. Let's go back to Dusk and Keep. And let's bring the entire group. Now, I want to see here. We've done yeah, still 19 out of 42 puzzles. Uh, but our we've got four stars. There we go. In culture, economy, and quality of life. All right. So that was weird. It seemed like we wouldn't have had enough to do that. But somehow we did. So now what I am waiting really to do is... Oh, unfavorable conditions. Really? That's peculiar. Oh, and what is the unfavorable condition? I'll check that in a sec. I think what I'm going to do first is build a giant house. Can I build this? Yes, I can build this. Okay. Who wouldn't want to live next to the fairgrounds, right? I, like... Rhetorical question, I think. Okay, so we've got some more citizens. Um, now, hold up. I can... Oh, okay. I I don't know what the, the whole comment about gold is. What, why are they not happy? Is my food production too low? Perhaps. That could be a thing. I don't know. Let's go and take a look. We'll see what everybody's complaining about. A community found and an academy shack. Okay. So there's there's some stuff like, <laughs> that we need to develop yet. I'm gonna head out this way, I think, is where all the, the good stuff was. It is cool wandering around your community. Um, 
once you've developed it a little bit here. It is neat. I like the way it it plays out. It is amazing how this seemed like a fairly large space when you start the game, but realistically, you end up like kind of, oh wow, there's like nothing, there's piddly, diddly, biddle, bibbly squat. It's nothings. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 50 gold. Yeah, we're not going to be so sad when these are engulfed by the town, is what I'm, the sense I'm getting. It's quite a lot of work to get uh, a couple hundred gold. But that's alright, we'll take it. We'll take all the gold we can get. This is bananas, so you end up like verging right on the, uh, the edge of things. Now my question is, is do we actually ever expand beyond this? It would seem weird to me that we would. Like, this seems like a pretty heavy-duty bit of expansion. Unless we lose these walls and we take over the whole valley. That's a possibility. I saw a camp out here. Somewhere. There we go, right there. And I was thinking we should just go and invite them. Hard to believe that they have not been invited yet. Yeah, that doesn't, it's not as satisfying when you are taking out uh, three bits of stone at once. Now, I think I need to go back to that village with the explosives at some point and sort that one out, because there was some stuff to do there. And, uh, you want to live in New Hodge? Yes. Come on in. Join the party. Happy to have you. Welcome aboard. I think that is it here. Wow, that is bananas. We're pressing out uh, right against the edge of things. All right, well, we've got another five, six bases, so let's invite this group. Can't have people living on the edge of town. That's not, not good. It means we haven't done our job effectively. Oh, it's one person. Okay, they're good. They're good to go. And it is funny, because I feel like these, uh, these little introductory areas is where I'm gonna like find unique and interesting things simply because um, we we don't know. Now this is curious, like look at how much resources are here. Like have I ever mined all of this out? I feel like there's, that's a lot of resources. Is there gonna be something back here? There is, hello. Now what did that do? My question. So this is the, uh, oh, was that the, this thing? Did I already do this? Oh, I've closed this now, didn't I? Huh. That's funny. So I, I'm just closed thing. I totally don't remember doing that initially. I think there's so many of those things that you kind of forget at a certain point, like, okay, I did a thing at some... There we go. <laughs> now that kind of now makes me wonder about um, one of the other ones that's locked that I need to get at. Uh, once again, I, you know, was struggling to figure out, okay, where it's at. And I like how we get a little piece of the puzzle and we think, okay, I know where ex roughly we need to be with all of this. And then that one, there's the couple where you're like, I have no idea what it's going to take for us to get through to that new location. Still nothing over here, right? Hello, darling. I don't need any more bags of spice. Thanks, though. Later, babe. All right. And we had finished these puzzles. Yes? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Tax time. Uh, I don't even know what. We just got some kind of an achievement. I don't know, the mayor's happy about something, maybe? Probably that we got four stars. Our food storage is through the roof now, again. So, um, I think what we need to probably look at is our quest log and see. So we got nothing with Stonefall. T River Camp, we gotta join the club. We need to join them. The champ in Nabo Village is the person to talk to. Okay, so we should probably go do that. Dusk in Woodlands, uh, it's just a prank. Uh, the prankster is pranking people. Drowning in a puzzle. He says he'll be back with more. We might need to go visit him. 
and we've got like one quest in a lot of these things. An old goblin wants us to solve his clues and find him. Past the stone man's right hand, an old hidden stone path winds. Top of the hill lay woodland. Of his past, it still reminds. I don't know. Hall of Heroes trial. Find the next trials in the Vigil Pines. Oh, okay. We must... There must be... Oh, it was up top. That's what it was. That's... I... Oh, my gosh. So we need to go do that, trials. The grinding stone. Um... The big rock is preventing the windmill from working. The pickaxe isn't enough. Right, we need to get the, the explosives from Breezy River. Um, a lost journal with a map. He says he lost in a tower in the forest to look for a switch at the base, and it will need a torch. Right, we kind of did find that, but we weren't able to get up there easily enough. And New Hodge, we, got, we need to build a sheriff's office and four watchtowers. Uh, we did... Um, get the town rating of 4 by improving everything but it doesn't seem to be working quite right and then 80 uh, spirits which we don't have I don't even know where they show those 37 we have so we still have a few more to go alright we're back down at tier 3 then <laughs> no idea what did that but we'll figure it out alright we will see you all next time till then bye bye